Hi, this is PD at Bergzerg Arcade at bergzergarcade.com, and this is uh, another feature preview for Unity 3.4. Now, this is actually the feature that got me the most excited about Unity 3.4, and for those who actually don't stop by the live chat and don't hear me incessantly talk about it, uh, it was the mobile train. So let's go ahead and open up Unity. Now, I've gone ahead and created a train, just a regular train. You know, you come up, create train. I took all the default settings. I went ahead and sculpted it a bit, painted it, you know, did all the usual stuff that you do with the train. And while I was doing all this, I realized I wasn't actually in mobile mode. So I went to build settings and I switched myself over to iOS. Um, there's a few new options here. Um, first one is the SimLink Unity Libraries. I assume you're just building symbolic links to the actual Unity Libraries in the actual build part. I have not actually looked this up, so I'm not 100% sure what it is. Uh, but I switched over to the iOS settings and it went ahead and converted my train for me, which really didn't take that long. And if we go ahead and take a look at the train, it's just a standard train. I've got four textures, uh, one for my mountains, uh, my lower lands, my grass, and my kind of in-between grass and mountains. Uh, if we go ahead and take a look at the settings, they're all the default settings. Now this is absolutely just a basic terrain created. And if we actually go ahead and look up here, I've actually gone ahead and imported the uh, mobile assets here, or for the standard assets, just so I can include something to run around in my train with. And if I zoom in on this, all it is really is just a capsule. I'm just using the first player uh, controller. I don't even actually have a capsule. I'm just using the uh, collider. And uh, the touchpads, if we go over and look at the game view, uh, this one here is to move. This is to move my camera around. Uh, black out the sky so you can see the edge of the the uh, edge of my mountains a little bit better. Uh, but that's pretty much all I've done so far. So you know, if I hit play, I can't actually do anything here because you, I need touch events. And I guess I could hook up uh, the Unity remote, but uh, I haven't. Uh, what you're going to want to do is just come down, hit build settings, and either hit build, build all, and it's going to build out a project for you. And for those who aren't familiar with um, the, the workflow that Unity has with uh, Monodevelop, uh, sorry, not Monodevelop, um, Xcode. I'll just go ahead and start this up. I'm just going to hit build and run. It's going to ask me where I want to save it. I'm just going to throw it up on the desktop. I've already actually done this already. I already have it running on my iPad. So I'm just going to go ahead and replace this, the old folder. And there's not a whole lot of assets here, so it really isn't going to take that long to actually build my uh, Xcode project for me to incorporate onto my iPad. So as you can see, I've got the little dancing icon here. And if I load it up, we'll notice that it's already building. Now it's installing it on my iPad. Now this is the first generation iPad and there's no tweaks or anything like that done to it. It's just you know, your stock iPad one, uh, 16 gigabyte uh, device. And I will take some, some video of me actually playing around on the iPad with it. Uh, but that's it. You know, It's already actually up and running on my iPad right now that I can move around with. Uh, I'll switch over to a video camera and we'll start taking a look at it. Alright, so here I am. Uh, I've got my iPad loaded up and if you notice I actually do I live just unhook it from the computer so I have a little bit more mobility. Uh, if you notice I actually do have two icons here. One is our hack and slash tutorial that I've been working on and this is the one that uh, we have for our mobile terrain. So I'm going to go ahead and start that one up. And as always, you know, you, I'm using um, the basic version of uh, the iOS which is I believe just Unity iOS. Uh, like I said before, we move with this corner here and we rotate the camera here, the basic controls. And I'm not sure if it's really coming across on the camera here, uh, but we are getting some little bit of lighting and shadowing. I didn't really play around a whole lot with the lighting, I just wanted to get the basics up and running. Uh, but as you can see, this is very, very nice. It took me maybe five minutes to actually get. Well, actually, no, I did a little bit of sculpting, so it took me about 10 minutes. It's just a couple of stamps with the brush. So it really didn't take a whole lot just to make this train, and just think if you actually spent some time on your train, how good it could look. Uh, I think it's just absolutely amazing that it runs. I should have actually put an FPS meter in here, just to show how fast the frames are. Uh, but it's very smooth, very, very good looking. It looks just as good on my iPhone, uh, my iPad as it does in the web player and just to show off a little bit more complex scene I'm going to go ahead and actually start up uh, the tutorial series one 
which I actually have built in the other direction here. Now, for the people following along the tutorial series, you'll recognize this scene. I've already gone ahead and tried it out, so I've created my character. I'm not going to bother deleting my character and going through all the scenes again, because honestly it looks the exact same on the iPad as it does on the uh, web player build. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit load player, and we'll notice we get the loading bar. Now my tutorial scene is quite large, uh, so I expected quite a long load time. And if you look, here we are. Now I have not enabled a whole lot of controls for uh, the I iPad version yet, uh, but I did want to be able to move the camera around. So here we are. You just use two fingers uh, for the camera. Now, I guess it might be kind of hard to see with my hand in the way. Uh, but there's our portal. Looks just like it does uh, in the build, regular build. I'll just slowly pan around. And there's my trees, the fog. Uh, let me go up a bit and we'll look at the sky. I've got it. The controls a little bit backwards. Uh, but there's the skyline. Uh, if I move it down, you can see it. Uh, but very, very, very nice. Uh, there's one problem I have had is when I'm trying to blend two textures together on the ground, uh, they really wash each other out. But considering uh, it's, this is probably like the first iteration of our train engine on the iPad, I think it's really, really good. And with the atmospheric fog in the background, the scene looks, I think, actually better on the iPad than it does in the web player. It just seems to fit everything better. And there's another look at our portal. Let me move this out a bit so you can see the whole thing. Actually, let me move this a little bit closer so you can actually see the portal. And again, move over to it. Uh, just trying to line things up here on the camera. So, yeah. There's our mobile train engine in Unity. Uh, absolutely amazing. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching this, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.